What's up everybody, it's Sean here back today to give you guys a review of the Kith New Balance 993 in the Peyote and Slate Grey colorway. Today's video is sponsored by Hefalux. When it comes to sneakers, comfort is king. So when you buy a pair of shoes and find out they're uncomfortable, one of the easiest ways to fix that is to swap out the insoles. So that's where Hefalux comes into play. If you check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box, you'll see they sell a variety of ETPU insoles, which pretty much is the same material you'll find inside Adidas Boost. So if you guys are curious to try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and take 15% off your entire purchase, and be sure to tell them that I sent you. So this is a Kith exclusive colorway of the New Balance 993, which released as part of Kith's Spring and Summer 2023 line. So these released back on March 10th for a price of 210 US dollars, which is roughly $290 Canadian. The colorway for this shoe is Peyote and Slate Grey, and the style code for this shoe is MR993KT1. So like we've seen before in the past, I don't think this is a true collaborative shoe. It's more of an exclusive colorway that only Kith released on their website. So throughout the shoe, you'll see there's no actual Kith or Ronnie Fly branding, which could be a good or a bad thing depending on how you see it. And just like most of your other 993s, this pair is made in the USA. So diving into the details of this shoe, as we start things off on the toe box, this is covered in this green colored mesh and has a herringbone style weave to it. Right above this in the center, we have a warm gray overlay of synthetic nubuck, and then overlaid on either side of the toe box, we have more of an olive green colored synthetic nubuck overlay. Surrounding the front toe cap, here we have this pig suede, which is done in more of a lighter gray finish, and the same suede runs down the entire length of the shoe as a mudguard. Covering the eyelets of the sneaker, we have a cream colored pig suede, and the top two eyelets are covered in a gray colored TPU. And then stitched on top of the mid panel, we have the New Balance N logo, which is constructed out of a reflective 3M finish in a mix of olive green and white. Moving downwards, you can see we have more of that green colored mesh, just like we saw on the toe box, and we have another overlay of synthetic nubuck done in that olive green shade. Next to this, surrounding the heel, we have more of that light gray colored suede, and pressed onto the lateral side, we have 993 branding. In the middle of the heel, we have this cutaway exposing this USA branding in the center. And then on the very top of the heel, we have this gray colored synthetic nubuck along with this dark gray reflective 3M hit in the center. As far as the laces go, so these come with two different lace options. The standard default lace that they come with and the one that I prefer are these flat style laces done in this cream color that matches the color of the mid panel. But if you want to give this shoe a little bit more contrast and pop, they also give you a secondary pair of flat white colored laces as well. Underneath this, the tongue is primarily constructed out of a herringbone style mesh done in this cream shade, and we have a warm gray, almost brown colored synthetic nubuck overlay on the very top, with the New Balance N logo embroidered in the center, along with New Balance, Made in USA, and 993 branding found at the very top of the tongue. So the back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe is lined in this olive green colored textile, and then as far as the insoles go, they're also lined in that same color. This is a pretty well padded foam insole, and we have New Balance Classic Branding stamped on the heel in white. So the upper of the New Balance 993 sits atop this foam midsole which is constructed out of a combination of Activa and Absorb. So the midsole is painted in white on the forefoot, cream on the top portion of the heel, and in addition to the two technologies, we also have Absorb DTS technology on the heel, which gives the shoe more of a smoother ride when you're transitioning from heel to toe. And right above the midsole, we have this translucent TPU heel clip with New Balance branding in the middle, and this helps to give you additional structure and support for the back end of the sneaker. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so this is your traditional 993 outsole. So this is constructed out of a mix of black, white, and cream colored rubber. And we have this New Balance branding right in the center. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. For those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like most of my other New Balance 993s, so I personally prefer to go a half size down to a size 9.5. So my foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I wear a 9.5 in models like the 993, the 992, and a lot of other made in USA New Balance shoes like the 990 V3, V4, V5, and V6. And in comparison, I stick true to size in other New Balance silhouettes like the 997 and the 990 V2 because I find that those two specific models have a bit more of a narrow toe box, so they fit me better true to size for my wider foot. And a lot of made in UK models like the 991, 1500, and 1530, as well as the 2002R and 1906R, all those models I go with a size 10 instead. 
So whatever your typical made in USA size is, I'd recommend sticking with that same size. But if you've never worn a 993 before, I'd say that they fit a little bit roomy, so half size down should be okay for you. Moving on to the comfort, so the 993, in my humble opinion, is easily one of the most comfortable New Balance silhouettes that they offer. Right when you take them out of the box and slip them on your foot, you can feel that very plush, soft cushioning on your foot, but it's not a very chunky, overly stacked cushioning setup, which means you're still gonna have a lot of support on your foot, especially on the heel area of the sneaker. So if you're gonna be on your feet for many hours, or if you're gonna be walking around for long distances, the 993 is easily a model I recommend. Alongside, for example, the 990 V3 and the 2002R, all three are very solid options for comfort. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship, so first off, material quality, I thought it was great. This pig suede that they use feels very nice to the touch. It's not a long haired suede, but even still, you run your fingers across it, you can really see and feel the softness and the quality of the materials. But from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, I'd say that this pair wasn't perfect. I think maybe I just got unlucky, but my specific pair had some issues with the stitching. It wasn't that great, but all things considered, it's a pretty minor issue. I was able to clean it up by trimming it with my own scissors at home. So I'd say that it wasn't a perfect release, but for all things considered, it's pretty good for a made in USA New Balance shoe. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. If you're watching this video, it's been about a month since the release. You guys probably know how big of a crap show the actual release of this shoe was. It seems like pairs were very, very limited. So barely anyone I know personally actually hit on the raffle. And when they actually launched on Kith's website, it was basically impossible to buy these manually. So that explains the sky high resale price for this pair. It's going for a ridiculous amount on the secondary market, which leaves us with the question, is this worth the resale price that it's going for? And obviously that depends on everyone's financial situation. If you have money to spare, I think this is a very, very dope colorway. It kind of reminds me of the normal collaboration on their 998 Parliamentary Runner. It's a very similar color palette and I love that model. And I think it was translated so well on this 993. But obviously part of the draw behind this shoe is the fact that it was so limited and it is a Kith exclusive colorway. I do still think though, if this was a general release, because it is a 993, I still think it would sell pretty decently on the market, just not to the same level that it's going for right now for obvious reasons. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Kith New Balance 993. What are your overall thoughts on this colorway? And for anyone watching, were you guys able to grab these? Did you take an L and pick these up on the secondary market? Or it's not really your thing and you pass on them all together. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.